Welcome to this week's episode of Tanya Tastes. This week we're going to be looking into a radicchio. It's cabbage-like, uh, but it's not in the cabbage family. Used a lot in Italy. Um, they use it in dishes, including just grilling it up, putting it in salads, in risottos, and spaghettis. Uh, today, though, I'm thinking about just grilling it up, eating it simply with some olive oil um, and some other uh, sauces that we're going to make. So I'm going to slice it up. And in order to slice it up, you just cut it in half. How pretty looks inside. And we're just going to cut it up into quarter-like slices. And we're going to put some olive oil on it, some salt and pepper, and then we'll go put it on the grill. So we slice these guys up, put some olive oil, salt and pepper, and they're ready for the grill. Before they go on the grill though, I'm gonna try it raw, see what it tastes like. It's supposed to have a bitter taste, but once you grill it, it becomes a little more cheesy-like. Yeah, that's definitely bitter. I will not be eating that anytime soon. It's supposed to char pretty quickly, so just keep a close eye on them. See right there, it's getting there. So I'm gonna rough chop this. Um, before I do that, I'm gonna get rid of this excess white stuff. This is uh, very bitter, so we don't wanna include that in our salad. That pretty color. The textures of like a Napa cabbage, um, but it's supposed to be taste very different. And so what we're gonna do is add in that dressing I just made, and you can just eat it as is. If you want, you can also add some Parmesan cheese to it, give it like a little cheesy taste as well. Just put that in there. Add some dressing. And there you have it. Ridicchio salad. You can always add this to like a bed of arugula. Add some walnuts, some pears if you like as well. Spice it up a little bit. We're just going to try it plain and simple today. So I've never had it before. So the radicchio has a ton of health benefits. Uh, one of the most important ones is vitamin K. Vitamin K is said to promote longevity um, with increased bone density, which reduces the rates of osteoporosis. Vitamin K also helps reduce neural damage. Um, so individuals that have Alzheimer's disease, some doctors recommend that they eat some radicchio. It's also high in fiber, so it helps you feel full for a longer amount of time. And it also helps uh, clean the colon, as well as aids digestion. Additionally, it also has some minerals including some copper, iron, zinc, phosphorus, and magnesium. Thanks for tuning into to this week's Tanya Taste. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you've never had radicchio, please get some next time you're at the grocery store. It's really good, but full disclosure, do not eat it raw. It's bitter. It's actually very bitter and not so good. However, grilled, very good. Um, 
you don't even have to add that dressing that I made, but I'll go ahead and include the recipe in my Instagram. It's just Tanya Taste. As well as please like this video. And subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel. I'll have a video out every week of me trying new foods. I hope you enjoy it. Any feedback and comment would be great to help me improve. All right, I'll see you next week. Bye.